Geography and Saloma Bridge. Good morning, Olin here. I saw a couple of TikTok videos showing levitation photography. And Saloma Bridge is kind of famous right now, so let's go there and take some levitation photos. With all these FINAS filming license going on, I'm not so sure how this day would go, but let's just go there and see. Okay, I guess we are here already and if you look behind me, it's KLCC and Public Bank Tower. So if you want to come here, just go to KLCC and walk even further. And right opposite me, it's the Saloma Bridge already. Okay, we are here and there's a couple of people here, cyclists and joggers, but let's check it out. This is a pretty cool place. Whoa! But then behind me is also KLCC, so that's like extra points. So the idea is very simple. You put your phone on a tripod so that it doesn't move and take a photo without the chair inside. That will be your blank photo. The second photo, you want to bring your chair in and sit on top of it. So as you can see, there's a lot of people walking in and out of this bridge. I would recommend if you want to come here to do photo shoot, come here around 7 to 8 a.m. in the morning so that there's not a lot of people. To create this photo, all we need is Snapseed. It is a free app. So the first photo that we're going to open is the photo without the chair inside. And then we're going to press double exposure. Select your photo that you're sitting on the chair. Opacity, full. And then right now, we're going to press all of our layering edits. View edits. Select on Darken and then we're going to brush ourselves in using the brush tool. So first a very rough one and then we're going to select zero double exposure. Go in very near to remove the chairs from the photo. Now you want to zoom in very close so that you can have a very exact brush stroke here. So you can even off the eye symbol so that you can have a visual look of how the whole photo is going to look like. So I'm going in very detailed to make sure I remove any parts of the chair, especially the one on my back. And do some touch up and just apply some edits and the end photo looks like this. Here's another way you can levitate in your photos. Run across the camera and jump high up in the air. While in the air, ask your friend to snap your photo. Now because you are jumping across the air, the time you are above ground is higher so the chances of your friend capturing you in mid-flight is higher. Here are the resulting photos. I guess the whole day went pretty well, just that sometimes there's a lot of cyclists, joggers coming by but I still managed to get some shots where there's totally nobody inside the frame. Sometimes when you envision something in your life, when you dream about it, there will be a little bit of fear because you're not sure what's going to happen but you still have to do it anyways. Because by not taking action, you won't know in the end whether the thing will work out or not because by doing nothing by default it is worse than failure so whatever you dream make sure you do it it doesn't have to be perfect you can take small micro step every day but the main thing is just do it this channel is going to mainly talk about mobile photography and my current approach to life is definitely trying out whatever stuff that i want to do and part of it is this youtube channel so if you're into leaning into fear when all of it doesn't make sense taking the road less taken by others do subscribe to this channel hit like if you think this video is awesome and i'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>